Welcome back to Katie Quiz, brought to you by GBU Life. It is now time for the Katie Quiz Speed Round. We have 10 questions prepared for each team, but each team only has 60 seconds to answer as many of those questions as they can. We award 10 points for a correct answer. There's no deductions in this round for incorrect answers, and all three teams are going to be competing in the same category, which is settings. Settings are the category. Up first is Bethlehem Center High School and Bethlehem Center. We are going to start your 60 second clock in three, two, one. The place that Dorothy and her friends journeyed to in seeking the Wizard of Oz. Battle City. A wizarding village filled with many magical shops near Hogwarts. Hogsmeade. Of Mice and Men narrates the experiences of George and Lenny, two ranch workers who moved from place to place in what state? Yes. In what future state is most of the last of the Mohicans set? No. Oliver, Oliver Twist runs away and heads to where? New York. No. In a limerick, from what island is the man who carries his wife in a bucket? Nantucket. Mythological river whose waters cause drinkers to forget their past? Pass. The first scenes of Titus, Andronicus, and Julius Caesar take place in what city? Rome. In what region of the United States is Eugene O'Neill's... And time is up with that. You got four correct. That means you added 40 points to your score, taking you up to 160 points so far for the day. Nicely done, Bethlehem Center. Up next is Valley High School and Valley High School. Your 60-second clock begins in three, two, one. What type of institution provides the setting for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Thank you. To Kill a Mockingbird is set in this small town. Mako. The Crucible by Arthur Miller takes place in the Puritan town of? Salem. Which play by Tennessee Williams takes place at 632 Elysian Fields, New Orleans? Taylor on the roof. No. What river basin on the equator did Joseph Conrad refer to as the heart of darkness? What river basin on the equator did Joseph Conrad refer to as the heart of darkness? Well, imaginary. No. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is set in what fabled land? Honey. In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. And time is up. You did get four correct as well, and that adds 40 points to your score, taking you up to 145 points. Finally up in the Katie Quiz Speed Round, we have Albert Gallatin High School. And Albert Gallatin, we are going to start your 60-second clock in three, two, one. Rocky runs the steps in what city? Philadelphia. Ancient city where King Arthur held his court. Pass. Zeus was said to live on top of what? Olympus. Mount Olympus. Lewis Carroll's underworld to which Alice descended. Wonderland. The mythological river in Hades. River Styx. Where Crawdad Singh describes the life of a young girl isolated in the marshes of what state? Louisiana. No. London Street of Detective Sherlock Holmes. Downing. No. Romeo and Juliet are set in what Italian city? Cool. Verona. Jonathan Swift's land where men are as tall as church steeples. America. No. City of enormous wealth thought to be located on the Amazon. Time is up. With that, you got five correct in that round. That takes your score up to 120 points. And if you're keeping track at home, that means this is a real close matchup that we've had from start to finish here on Katie Quiz. We're not going to slow things down now. We have the Katie Quiz math time. This is a round where we have two math-based questions for each team. We award 20 points for a correct answer. 20 points is deducted for any incorrect answers. And we want to remind you, no pens, papers, calculators, anything else to help you out with these questions. First up will be our team from Bethlehem Center High School and Beth Center. 
Here's your first question. Classify the triangle shown by its sides. Right triangle. That is a scalene triangle that you see there. What value of X will make the equation shown true? Negative seven and positive six. Negative seven and positive six. We would have accepted either one, but you gave us both. That means you got one correct, you got one wrong, your score stays the same, and you are still remain in the lead with 160 points. Next up is our team from Valley High School. And Valley High School, here's your first math time question. Given the triangle shown, what is the measure of angle one? 149. 149 is correct. Very nicely done. Here is your next math time question. What kind of transformation converts this first graph into the second one? A shift to the left. Actually, a translation of two units down would do that. So you two got one correct and one wrong. That means your score also stays the same. So you remain at 145 points. Very, very close game still going on here. And uh, finally, up here, we have Albert Gallatin High School. Albert Gallatin, here's your first math time question. What is the tangent of angle E in the triangle shown? Forty-five over twenty-eight. That is correct. Nicely done. And the final math time question today: A system of equations is shown in this graph. What is the solution to the system? Two negative four. Two and negative four is correct. That means you got both your math time questions correct. That means you add. 40 points to your score, taking you up to 160 points. You're tied in the lead with Bethlehem Center, and Valley High School is very close behind with 145 points. And it's all going to come down to our final round. It's something we call more or less. And that's coming up next on KD Quiz, brought to you by GBU Life. KD Quiz is brought to you by GBU Life, providing life insurance, annuities, and community support since 1892.